Okay, well you got two options. I'm either gonna tow here or you need to get moving. Because you are in the lane on this side of the line, and I have plow trucks that need to salt and sand to this ramp, okay? And so if I go and I get flipped over, who's gonna be at fault? You are. Why? Oh, okay. New driver's license, registration, everything. I'm just asking. Nope, you're getting something. For what? Parking on the ramp. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much. This story comes from the Mother Trucker News over at the Mother Trucker News on YouTube. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to him. Also, I want to shout out the subscriber that sent me this video to get my reaction on it. So thank you very much. So here it is. It was a driver that was in uh, Wyoming coming from California going to somewhere in Colorado and he got caught up in that storm no more wasting time let's get it hold on so he decided that he, he felt that it wasn't safe and that's cool I get it he wanted to pull over into a rest area but of course everybody else had the same idea <laughs> so they pulled over to the rest area and the rest area was full so he looked up just like everybody else does and you see trucks parked on the side of the on the side of the shoulder on the on and off ramp of the rest area a lot of us parked there so he decides to park over there in his peripheral he looks in his mirror he sees 5-0 coming up telling trucks that they have to move off the rest area ramp now let me make this absolutely clear he the officer is not forcing him to move from the rest area parking so if he was parked in the rest area then he would have been okay the officer is making the truckers move off the ramp, off the shoulder of the ramp. Now, think of this as twofold, right? Of course, the you know, driver is going to feel some kind of way, as he, as he do. And he feels that the officer should let him stay there because of the bad weather and stuff like that. I mean, maybe some consideration. I get it. But the officer looking at this as a potential accident issue which it is we already heard of the stories of parking on the side of the shoulders and other trucks and cars running in the back of those parked trucks y'all remember the the bus accident that happened in illinois where i believe that they was parked off the side of the shoulder and they got ran off the officer is telling him that he gotta move and the truck driver is giving a little bit of pushback and the officer like look move or get a ticket and get told it's your choice now i tell you what i like you and i want you now we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way the choice is yours and when you try to hide on the shoulder from bad weather and you have a policeman, he just rolled up, he's about to kick out the guy that's behind me probably, and then me. Or they're gonna close the freeway down. There's a popo man. Yep, I was right. He kicked him out and now he's coming to me. Now, drivers, for me, if I already got an in inclination of what's about to happen, then the the whole confrontation wouldn't have happened because I would have just got up and laid to VOT would have came over to me and he would have seen me getting in gear and we wouldn't even had a dialogue. I would have been gone. I would have been gone. Dude, I got under two thousand dollars up to two thousand pounds in my boss. I am not going out there. It is just too unsafe. A dude rolled up to me. What a oh man. Yes, sir. Hey okay, man, what's the deal? Uh, I got 2,000 pounds in my box, all right? It's not safe for me to move forward. Okay, why did you uh, not go to the rest area? I went in there, it was, it was, it was full. Okay. I didn't find any parking. So okay. I came out and I parked here. Okay, well you got two options. I'm either gonna tow here or you need to get moving. Because you are in the lane, on this side of the line, and I have plow trucks that need to salt and sand to this ramp, okay? And so if I go and I get flipped over, who's gonna be at fault? You are. 
Why? Oh, okay. You have your license and registration and everything. For what? Parking on the ramp. This whole stretch right here has part, no parking on the ramp signs on it. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll okay, move on. Okay, move now. That officer was like, hey, not my problem. Not my problem. My problem right now is to clear this area and make it safe for snow plows, salt, and all that other good stuff. Now, if you happen to drive down the way and flip over, then that's on you. But as of right now, sir, you're going to have to move. Now, again, I mean, courtesy, I guess, should have been given. But in situations like blizzards and incumbent weather and stuff like that. And I understand we get scared. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to drive in that. I risk rolling over and all like that. And if I do roll over, then what I'm going to say, Hey, I was at the rest area and the officer forced me off the rest area. But see the key word here is rest area. You was not parked in the rest area. You was parked on the shoulder, which of course that we saw in the video that you was like you you was close to the you was close to the right, but you was still in the line of traffic. Though. And I guess that's what the DOT officer that was his thing. So drivers, let me know what you think. I mean, was the officer wrong? Could the officer gave him some courtesy? What do you think? If you got stories like that, make sure you send it over to the Lockout Men Podcast and we will share it. That's Gmail, Lockout Men Podcast Guest at gmail.com. Uh, in too deep like Omar. Make me want to track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama want to get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy. Bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.